Donald Trump moving U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem may needlessly spark mass protests, says Nancy Pelosi. Top Senate Democrat Chuck Schumer says he advised the president to declare Jerusalem Israel as a divided capital. President Donald Trump has been accused of putting the wants of his evangelical Christian voters ahead of U.S. national interests with his decision to designate Jerusalem as the capital of Israel and move the U.S. Embassy there. Democratic Senator Sheldon Whitehouse said the announcement makes good theater for elements of the president's base, but that it constituted a dangerous move. For really strong evangelicals, this is part of the biblical prescription that Jerusalem shall return and all of that, Mr. Whitehouse said. I think it has a dangerous idea to let those religious beliefs get ahead of our national interests and our diplomatic interests. Elsewhere, the decision has drawn mixed reactions in Washington. Top House Democrat Nancy Pelosi called Jerusalem the eternal capital of the Jewish homeland, but said that the embassy relocation may needlessly spark unrest. In the absence of a negotiated settlement between Israel and the Palestinians, moving the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem now may needlessly spark mass protests, fuel tensions, and make it more difficult to reach a durable peace, Ms. Pelosi said in a statement. Her counterpart in the Senate, meanwhile, supported the move with Mr. Trump having also received robust approval from several other Democrats and Republicans. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer told the Weekly Standard that he recommended Trump declare Jerusalem the undivided capital of Israel. Through his announcement this week on the Jerusalem issue, Mr. Trump abruptly broke with decades of U.S. foreign policy, leading to protests and condemnation from world leaders. The president called the change in Israel's diplomatic status a step to advance the peace process between Israel and the Palestinians. Congress had adopted the Jerusalem Embassy Act in 1995, urging the federal government to relocate the American embassy in Israel to the Holy City. Every president since then including Mr. Trump has signed waivers delaying that move for six months at a time. Mr. Trump signed the new waiver straight after his announcement, but made clear that the embassy move would happen. There is a reason why all past U.S. administrations have not made this move, and why leaders around the world have warned Trump against it. It would undermine the prospects for an Israeli-Palestinian peace agreement and severely, perhaps irreparably, damage our ability to broker it, independent Senator Bernie Sanders posted on Twitter. Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein, who was among those who voted for the 1995 law, had penned a letter to Mr. Trump urging him not to move the embassy because it would spark violence further alienate the United States and undermine the prospects of a two-state solution. The future of Jerusalem is an issue that should be decided by Israel and the Palestinians, not unilaterally by the United States, Ms. Feinstein wrote. Republican Senator Chuck Grassley, however, praised Mr. Trump for the move in a tweet that the president